Hey everybody, welcome to Brain Freeze, where we bring you the latest news and gossip on your favorite celebrities, from the red carpet to their personal lives, we've got it all covered. So sit back, relax, and join us as we take you on a journey into the fascinating world of celebrity culture. With overseas rollout having begun Wednesday, John Wick, Chapter 4 is off to a strong start at the international box office. Across just a handful of markets, figures we're hearing put the early estimated Kim at roughly $3.9 million through Wednesday and including Australia and New Zealand's Thursday launches. As Anthony reported, Thursday's domestic previews of around $8 million are looking at a franchise best, per industry estimates. The Keanu Reeves forkwell is bowing in 71 international box office markets this weekend, the biggest day and date footprint for the franchise which has previously tended to release in staggered fashion. The global outlook coming into the weekend is $115 million, including $45 million from offshore. John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum's international opening back in 2019 was $36.9 million for $93.75 million worldwide, a previous global record start for the series. Parabellum didn't have Germany, France and Spain in its opening suite, though those major territories are included in Chapter 4's first frame. In Latin America, we understand paid Wednesday previews came in at $994,000 led by Brazil at $328,000 and followed by Mexico with $240,000. Only about 60% of Latin America cinemas held sneaks, boding well for the weekend ahead. Reef stopped in at CCXP in Brazil last December to promote the pick. Premieres were also held recently at Berlin Zoo Palace and Paris Grand Rex. Germany, consistently a top market for the John Wick movies, grossed an estimated $635,000 in Wednesday evening previews, coming in 40% higher than the previous installment. Regular shows began Thursday on 800-plus screens, the widest R-rated release in the market in the last decade. France launched the Chad Stahelski-directed pick at number one with $543,000 from 557 screens. Social unrest is plaguing the country with protests in major cities, but despite this, the start was 35% ahead of JW3. Chapter 4 has the best critical and audience scores of the series on Allocene. In Taiwan, JW4 was number one with an estimated $418,000, 17% above. JW3 and 273% over last weekend's opener Shazam. Fury of the Gods Australia on Thursday bowed to $681,000 on 259 screens, $1 million when including Wednesday's previews. The opening day repped 66% of the entire box office and was 56% ahead of JW3. The launch day was Studio Canal's biggest since Twilight, Breaking Dawn, Part 2 and the best for any non-studio title since Hunger Games, Mockingjay, Part 2. Rounding out the top starts, New Zealand has grossed $140,000 through Thursday, 36% above JW3, Sweden, $100,000, and Finland, $74,000, both opened JW4 at number one on Wednesday. The Sweden launch was 105% ahead of JW3 while Finland was on par with that movie. The UK and Spain notably opened today. Typically, the top markets for the franchise have been a mix of the UK, Germany, Mexico, Australia and Korea, the latter opening in April along with the Middle East. Japan goes in the fall. Your support means everything to us, so please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing our content.